A very big story this week, former state Senator Frank Artilis and a shill candidate he's accused of recruiting and then funding. They were both arrested this week and a bombshell election scandal Art broken in large part by my colleague and friend here, Glenna Milberg. Thank you, Artilis was all no comment as he bonded out of jail Thursday night. His arrest, the culmination of a four month investigation, the state attorney's office launched the day after Local 10 found the two shill candidates that might have swayed South Florida State Senate elections. One of those phony candidates was arrested and charged as well. Prosecutors have evidence that Artilich recruited, paid off auto parts dealer Alex Rodriguez to pose as a candidate and to dupe voters to siphon votes from the Democratic incumbent who, with whom he shared the same last name, Jose Javier Rodriguez. He ended up losing his seat by 32 votes to now state Senator Ileana Garcia. Though investigators say they found no evidence that she was involved with the scheme, there are now calls for her to resign and for a new election. State Senator Gary Farmer of Broward is one of those. He is the Democratic minority leader in the state Senate with us now live from Lighthouse Point. Senator, good morning. Good morning, Glenna. Good morning, Michael. Good to be with you. Senator, we are so glad you are. So this week on Friday, you, Manny Diaz, Senator Perry Thurston, um, had a news conference. I watched it, I reported on it, and you demanded, asked, that Ileana Garcia voluntarily resign and that a new election be held. But that's not going to happen, is it? Well, it's, it's probably very unlikely. And uh, as you mentioned a minute ago, um, right now there is no evidence uh, that Senator Garcia was involved in this wrongdoing. But that doesn't change the fact uh, that these are extremely troubling, uh, not just allegations, but facts uh, that have been uh, uncovered by the state attorney's office. And it goes to the very heart uh, of our democratic process. And so, you know, we need to make sure that uh, Floridians can trust in the electoral process. And uh, the evidence is is overwhelming that uh, uh, there were wrongful acts or criminal acts uh, committed in this election and and those acts certainly had uh, an impact on the outcome of the election we're talking about a race it was decided by 32 votes and so you know i've seen on social media the last few days uh uh you know justice for jjr um and certainly my my former colleague jose javier rodriguez uh was was wronged in this endeavor but this isn't really about justice for him this is about justice uh, for the residents of Senate District 37. Okay, so uh, Sen Senator, sure that, uh, okay, while yes. you're saying there, I, I'm listening to you thinking everyone who is listening to you is thinking this, what happened, what's alleged to have happened, the shills we personally firsthand met is wrong. But what we've also learned is this has been going on for years, likely mm -hmm. for decades, that everybody knew that this was a way to game the system. Where you been? <laughs> Well, you know, people have asked that this past week, and uh, the, the reality of the matter is our election laws uh, are woefully inadequate to handle this. Uh, even if uh, uh, we had uncovered uh, 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 the fact that, uh, and what led to this, Glenna, was you finding out that uh, Alex Rodriguez didn't really reside in the address in the, in, at the district that he listed, that would not have knocked him off this ballot. Um, and, and to this point, no, uh, no state attorney or no uh, 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 law enforcement officials have done the kind of investigation that has happened in this case and uncovered evidence. We don't have subpoena power to find out about these monetary transactions. We don't have the ability to seize laptops and the things that happen uh, in this instance. And so we're very pleased that, that uh, State Attorney Rundle uh, has taken aggressive action to uncover this because you're right, Glenna. There are so many similarities here. Uh, there was a shill candidate in District uh, 39 uh, that shared a common address. You just reported on that recently. Um, up in uh, Senate District 9, there was a third party candidate. Uh, uh, up in Gainesville, uh, three years ago, we had a third party candidate who siphoned off 2% uh, of the vote and the Democrat lost by 0.5%. So let me, let me ask you a question on that. You're right, and we met shill candidates. They had no campaign, they had no platform, they did no campaigning, they did no door knocking. How did 6,000 plus voters vote for a candidate that they legitimately knew nothing about? Isn't this election on them in a way, no matter what? Uh, well, listen, I think, um, 
we hope that uh, our electorate is informed and we do the best we can to inform them. Uh, it's, it's sort of a Hobson's choice, though. You know, it wasn't something where we wanted to go mentioning Alex Rodriguez's name and, and building his profile when one didn't exist. Uh, uh, but you're right. The, the voters should have been a little bit more careful. In, in this case, it really mattered because of the same uh, last name. And so uh, I think there was a little confusion, a little voter uh, laziness. Um, and, and Glenna, what's really staggering uh, to learn for most uh, Floridians is that the act of fielding a, a shill or third party candidate in and of itself is not illegal. But what is illegal is to pay the filing fee for that candidate. What is illegal is for a, a, a party to pay uh, for advertising or political communications uh, for a third party candidate. And, and that's what we found here. That's what we've seen in other races. Up in Gainesville, we we traced uh, the third party candidate had to pay the cost of a, of a public records request he did. And the check used for payment of that of those expenses was the same account paying the Republican uh, campaign manager in that race. Uh, so, so there's evidence here of crossover with numerous Republican entities and PCs. And, and as I've been saying this past uh, few days, uh, this is like a Watergate deep throat moment. Uh, follow the money. Uh, uh, we, we urge, and I believe uh, State Attorney Rundle will follow the money, yeah. follow the money trail. Frank Artilles didn't get this cash he was taking out of a safe in his house out of thin air. It came from somewhere. And that, yeah. that well, warrant I, and Senator, that affidavit- Senator Pharma, in fact, excuse me, let me ask yeah. you about what the legislature could do to sort of shine a light on the dark money that Frank Artilis had and that other people have, because I know Glenda tried to follow the money. It winds up at a UPS, at a post office box in Atlanta. I mean, at mm -hmm. the moment, there is no way to find out the source of that money. I mean, maybe that'll come out at trial, but even that is a little doubtful. Yeah, I mean, we have uh, uh, election laws floating through the system right now in the Florida legislature, and uh, we can do things like ban or limit PC to PC money transfers. Uh, this is flat out money laundering. Money just gets moved through different uh, PCs and, and, and other entities. It's a Byzantine network of funding operations. Uh, we also could uh, pass a law that says you can't switch your party affiliation the day before you file. That's what happened in this case. Alex Rodriguez was a registered Republican. Frank Artilles had to send him several text messages to urge him to go and change his party affiliation. Uh, and so uh, these are things we can fix in the legislature. And we're calling on our Republican colleagues to join us in doing exactly that. Uh, they've been talking about election reform uh, uh, for months now, uh, and they, they point out uh, false election fraud. It led to a violent insurrection in our nation's capital. Uh, uh, and so w let's do something meaningful. Let's not look at fake fraud. Let's not file bills that take away the right to vote by mail or make it harder to collect vote by mail ballots. Let's go after things like this that absolutely and directly affect the outcome of the election Senator, and really compromise the very integrity of we, our system. We, we understand the, the need for that kind of thing. There just doesn't seem to be much appetite on the, on the part of Republican leaders. By the way, we like your clock. We heard the tolling there. Do not send a <laughs> note for whom the bell tolls. It tolls maybe for Frank Artilis. We will find out. Thank, thank you very much. Thanks, Senator.